Hi guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wild Survival. Welcome to part one of my 12-part mini-series, an introduction to the 12 C's of survival. This video is going to be about the mindset. The 10 C's of survival, as basically coined by Dave Canterbury, is... I don't know what you call them, but sometimes when you have to know something, you have to learn something, you, you come up with a little rhyme or a poem or some sort of an acronym, something or other to help you to do whatever it is you're doing. Uh, like when kids are learning to tie shoes, there's something about a rabbit jumping around a tree or uh, kind of whatever. I've, I've kind of heard something along that lines. I don't really know what it is, to be honest. But the 10 C's of survival are kind of like that. Basically, they are things that are extremely useful, if not ad absolutely necessary. And... Dave Canterbury has basically taken them and assigned them a name that starts with the letter C, just to help you remember. So, your, your flashlight is called a candling device. Your sewing needle is called a cloth needle or a canvas needle. Sort of, you know, duct tape is called cargo tape. And we'll get into all of that later. But that's, that's the mindset. Is It's just to help you to kind of remember what the 10 C's are. Also, the 10 C's of survival is not necessarily 10 items. I see a lot of people doing that. It's, they, they make that mistake. And... I don't think that's what Dave Canterbury had in mind when he coined the 10 C's of survival. Um, and I might be out of line by saying this, but I think what he meant is the 10 categories of survival. And each category is given a name that is starts with letter C. So, you have to... You have to keep that in mind when you're building uh, a kit, whether it be a, a bug out bag, a get home bag, a personal survival kit, um, any of those things. You, you've got your 5C kits and your 10C kits. The first 5Cs, fairly important, fairly important stuff. The next 5Cs, Kind of important, relatively useful, helps to make things a little bit better. But the really, really important stuff are, are the first five C's. So a lot of people who are building kits will build a 5C kit. And then their bigger one will cover all 10 C's. Either way, it's not 10 items. It's, it's, it's 10 categories, and, and you, you have to have your bases covered. So we're going to dive in to this series, and we're going to explain how some of this stuff works. So welcome to an introduction to the 10 Seas of Survival, and stay tuned because we've got a lot of videos coming up for this.